What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoose, you are awesome, and today I'm playing a bit of Heroes of the Storm, Blizzard's MOBA brawler that takes advantage of all their IPs like Warcraft, Starcraft, Overwatch, and Diablo. Even though this was my first MOBA-ish game, I always forget it exists and that I'm actually kind of good at it. I'll go through today and try to explain what HOTS is all about. I'm playing my favorite hero, Kerrigan, from the Starcraft universe, and I'm using the Succubus skin because of, uh, reasons. Let's run through her abilities real quick. Her passive gives you shields whenever you deal damage. Her Q, Ravage, has two charges and lets you leap to an enemy and deal damage. If you get a kill with this, it resets. Her W, Impaling Blades, lets you put down a little AoE that shoots up blades after a delay that stuns targets. Her E, Primal Grasp, lets you pull people back in a cone and then you have a small explosion of damage around you after a delay. So what you want to do is place Impaling Blades, then pull enemies into the stun, and keep them in range for the explosion. Most heroes in Heroes of the Storm have two ultimates to choose from. Kerrigan's first is Maelstrom, and that's like a constant AoE around you. The second one is Summon Ultralisk. You summon a little buddy that will charge forward and stun a target. You can then direct him to attack uh, whenever you want. In Heroes of the Storm, you start off with all of your basic abilities unlocked. Uh, you do have to, once you hit level 10, you unlock your ultimate, your choice of ultimates, I should say. But And they don't have an item shop. What they do have is you get to pick talents at various levels. 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 20. Whenever you get to those levels, you get to unlock talents that will help you in the game. For this one, my level 1 talent, I picked up Siphoning Impact, which gives me extra shielding whenever I ravage somebody. Because the enemy team has a lot of assassins, and I'm... Really the only front line, so whenever, whenever I dive in, I want that extra shielding, shielding to sustain me. Another thing about heroes, it always starts off with both teams kind of dancing around the middle lane. And then eventually everybody splits off and goes to different lanes. Because um, there's shared ex experience um, whenever you... Whenever you kill the minions, they drop a little ball on the ground, kind of like in Par how it used to be in Paragon, where the CXP would drop on the ground and you would have to go pick it up. So you can deny people from getting their experience, but it's shared amongst the team. So there's no gold, just experience, and that kind of ensures that everybody stays, like everybody covers down a lane, so that you get as much XP as possible for your team. And uh, you're gonna you're gonna watch me kind of, I'm gonna be up against a Zagara in the bottom lane. Zagar is a bit of a lane bully, but I ended up bullying her quite a bit and denying her from getting XP while getting XP for myself. And, uh, yeah, I missed that combo right there. And, um, yeah, it puts our team way ahead. Didn't have quite enough oomph to finish that kill, but that's fine. Again, it's going to drive her away from getting XP. She's going to be a little bit scared of me. And that's another thing. Almost everybody will use Ravage to get close and then use the combo to prevent people from running away. You could just throw the combo naked and get them a lot of the time. Picked up another talent. This one gives me um, more damage on my Ravage whenever I kill something. So if I kill a minion, I get one stack. I think I get three to three or five stacks, something like that, from killing a hero. I normally don't take this talent because it's hard to. Um, it's kind of hard to stack up. But I'd already invested in the Ravage talent at level one, so I figured I would go ahead and just keep doing, going down the Ravage path. Caught her with another naked combo again. I don't really care if, uh, if I kill her or not, as long as I push her out of lane and get the XP. As you can see, we're level 5, their team's level 4, we're already starting to get a pretty good XP advantage. Another 
Another thing about Heroes of the Storm is you have different maps with different map objectives. For this one, you have nukes that spawn across the map, and you can collect them and then use them on your enemies. Well, you could use them wherever you want to, but usually you would use them on the enemy structures. Caught Genji with a naked stun there. That's another thing a lot of Kerrigans tend to forget that they can do. You don't have to combo every time. You can just throw the stun down when somebody's chasing you. You can often catch him with it, prevent the chase. He's trying to come down here and, and steal my nuke. If uh, if he if they kill me, that nuke drops and they can collect it and use it on my towers. Got another Q talent for Ravage. This one's gonna give me an extra charge of it. That's pretty much it. And there's the nuke I was talking about. We just hit level 10, which means we unlocked our ultimate, and a lot of it is due to what I've been doing to this cigar down here. I've just been collecting a ton of XP for for our team. Look at the stats there. And yeah, I have that. Nope, I don't have the highest, but I do have a lot. And a big combo wipes out the thrall. Almost. Oh god, yeah, I did get both of them. My little buddy. I got the Zagara, and then my little buddy got picked up the kill on the thrall. Another interesting thing about Heroes of the Storm, whenever you take a jungle camp, this is a jungle camp that I'm taking right now, they work for you. They they convert over to your team and march down the lane and push. And um, there's different mer types of mercenary camps on different maps, so that's kind of cool. Taking advantage of the resets on my Q, because I was getting kills with the Q, I was getting a reset, which allowed me to just keep hopping around and blasting people. Another interesting thing about this particular map, you got a sewer system that lets you teleport from the bot lane to the top lane real quick. And you can surprise people like this poor Zagara. And it doesn't really matter that she definitely stole my kill there. That doesn't really matter because, again, it's shared XP. It would have been nice to get the stacks for my Ravage quest, but you know what? Oh well. Two things I completely neglected to mention. Before you can even attack a tower, there's a gate with two turrets that you have to bring down before you can even get inside. I mean, you can attack it without those gates being down, but you'll probably die. But And then um, there's a healing fountain next to the fort. Uh, the healing fountain is now invulnerable. I didn't even know this till I was playing again. And um, yeah, you could just, it's on, uh, I think a minute and a half cooldown and you could just tap it for extra health and mana. 
but uh, it does get destroyed whenever you take down a fort. It used to be you could just destroy them on their own. Could have had all of them if I would have used my Ultralisk a little bit sooner. And this is, an en the enemy took a camp, and that's what we're trying to clear out right now. That's that's their camp. That's why there's way bigger minions amongst those minions. as their camp pushing down the lane. But we have, since we took down a fort, we have uh, catapult minions with us. That's the big the big cannon mortar looking thing in the, in the back. And my Ravage quest is finished. I think that's the fastest I've, I've ever finished that quest. Not, nine and a half minutes. And that just gives me just even more damage on my Ravage. So I'm just smacking them even harder now. Team really wanted me to initiate right here, but I gotta wait until one of them steps out of position. I, I want to wait for them to make a mistake before I dive in because that is a lot of minions. That's a lot of enemies, and there's a, there's an inhibitor right there. And boom, Genji just stepped out of position. They stepped up. And now we got him. Now we got him. Oh my god. Unfortunately, he had his dash up, so I wasn't able to kill him as well. Another interesting thing about here is the storm. Uh, each map has its uh, different core that has different abilities. The map, uh, the core on this ability, uh, you probably saw the big blue circle there. That was the core firing its own nukes. So that core fires big AOE damage. Uh, not not all of them do that. Some of them have like a pushback mechanic. It's just each map has a different core that has different abilities. That, I think that's really cool. I think this whole there's a lot of really cool concepts within here's of the storm. Oh yeah, as I'm watching this, the other thing, you have mounts in here as the storm, so you can mount up to go a little faster. Uh, if you get hit, it just takes you off the mount and you get your normal movement speed. It doesn't root you or stun you or anything. Got another got another talent. Um, I think I forgot the uh, what, I, what I picked up, my 13 talent, but I picked up, uh, it's a talent that gives you extra shields, but they don't last as long. So it just, better burst shielding, better burst healing, I guess you would call it. And then I picked up um, a talent that gives me extra damage on my stun for my level 16 talent. Um, I don't even know, I don't even remember. Boom. Got her, got her good. I don't even remember if we even made it to level 20, but that's when you get your storm talents, which normally on Kerrigan, you, you can get a blink on her, and that's what I normally take with her. But, uh, I don't, I don't even know if we hit 20 here.
and down goes their core. That's uh, that's here's the storm for you. Um, it's the first MOBA I ever played, really. Well, I think I actually played Dota before this. It's the first MOBA I got into. So this is kind of what led me into getting into Paragon. It's what, what's what perked my interest in Paragon. I don't know. Yeah, that's, they got that. They got MVP for taking my kill. That's what they got the MVP for. <laughs> but yeah, uh, pretty good game. Pretty fun one. If you guys, um, you know, add me if you want to. Mangoose is my name on here. So we can uh, play some hots. Mangoose. Special shout out to channel members Foolish Blood Hunter, Jelly Knees, Meow Mix for Men, Stunt, Ferenth, and Raven.